Oh my God, I just realized I have to shuffle them again. Okay, so not as long. There we go. This is the um, uh, Elder Shaw Tarot Writer Illuminati John Holland. Okay, so let's begin, shall we? So beginning with the... Um, your recent past position, Two of Cups. So this is spiritual union. You experience this deep connection with your twin flame. You see him in yourself. He sees you in himself. There is a deep love, a deep bond that you share that cannot be unbroken. You're connected at the heart chakra, connected at third eye, crown, energy, exchange, love, spiritual bond, unbroken. All right, three cards, please. Three of swords. Knight of wands. Strength card. So your heart was broken. You feel like you've been pierced by swords. This love is crushing so strong that it's causing you pain. And as you know, if you're attached to something, that is what causes that pain. But please allow it to be. Feel that every emotion that you possibly can. Cry, tears, healing, your soul. Heal your heart. So, even though he is, you know, the reason for this broken heart, he's still with you in the 5D. So, um, the Knight of Wands, that's a sudden energy, it came in so quickly out of the blue, and it brought this heartbreak. And then it was gone. The strength card is a woman is being represented, masculine here. Uh, the strength card is going within and healing yourself on a spiritual level, but also finding balance and using strength and bravery to continue on your journey and heal yourself. see that or is it too far okay next is the is uh, the masculine recent um, sorry the past position six of Pentacles material and spiritual prosperity so he looked he looked to the future in the past and he was optimistic he was hopeful he felt grounded and accomplished open to giving and receiving in exchange. Five of Swords. Magician. And King of Wands. So, the Five of Swords. This is winning at all costs. It is um, fighting in battle and winning it to win and it doesn't matter who you've hurt so there's a sense of victory here but it's a hollow victory it can you see these people in the background they're, they're walking away from him because of his actions it's underhanded so either this energy is walking away from him or he's walking away from somebody but there's a male energy here who seems to be standing very proud of himself for this battle that he just won. Then we have the magician. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I muted that just one moment. Okay, so then we have the magician, which is creating your own reality. It is manifesting your dreams and bringing it into 
the 3D world. So there's a sense that there's, there was this beginning, this um, start in the 3D, and there was this beginning of a future, <clears throat> but there was this, you know, conflict that arose, and it made him feel powerful. I don't know, I'm getting, this is the King of Wands, right? So it could be a fire energy, but it's almost like um, he took on this authority type of uh, leadership role, perhaps. Um, but he's looking back at the past. He's looking back at how he came to, to be in this position. And it wasn't through bravery uh, you know, um, living your truth. It was one because of some kind type of underhanded trickery in the past, you know, this hollow battle. So he manifested a future for himself, but karma is going to come back. You know, I mean, he doesn't look very proud of himself in either any of these pictures. He's kind of looking back over his shoulder. Here, it's like a mundane looking face. And then here again, he's looking back to the past. All right, so next is your present position. Heart chakra, I love you. Good for you. Good for you. Heart chakra, open, unconditional fucking love. You cannot knock me off my course. I will not close my heart. And it's standing on spiritual strength. You healed your heart, girl. I'm so proud of you. Good for you. Spiritual union, you know your truth. And it doesn't change anything. I'm not going to pull any additional cards for that. It's just too perfect. Okay, his present position. Base chakra. So he has reduced himself from this to this. Uh, base chakra is about feeling safe and secure. So there's a sense that he is feeling unsafe is what I'm getting from this. He's back to square one again, grounding his dream into reality. The Eight of Swords, Fool card, and World card. Whoa. So, uh, Eight of Swords, this is a mental prison. The energy being represented here is the feminine. And he is looking in your direction. Um, so it's right beneath the Five of Swords. So it's like there was a conflict. And he won the bot battle in the past. And it created a mental prison for you. It was an energy that came from the outside. And it was pushing down on you. It was forced on you. And so it stopped you dead in your tracks. No movement. But it is a self-imposed prison, so you can take that blindfold off and release yourself, which I feel that you did. Um, you took the ropes off. You took the blindfold off. You picked up your little pack here and your little rose, and you said, fuck it, I'm out of here. I am worth more than this. Fool card. You took a brave leap of faith and you walked away, released yourself from that prison. And here you are now, even further, you are being represented as the universe. Completion. So quick. Boom. And because it happened so quick, it knocked him right off guard. His sense of security was shaken up. This is a feminine energy. This is a feminine energy. In between is 
this kind of girly masculine energy here so I'm I'm feeling this is you saying oh you want to make me feel this way well I'm sorry no bye and it's freedom it is detachment and because that you went from the fool to the world in a heartbeat and look at you standing on this um, um, whatever the heck it is you're on you're risen up above the world um, into the universe you are the star in the sky like seriously holy man so yeah I mean that's awesome okay so for your near future star I mean the uh, sun yes you are my girl you are beautiful you see your worth you see that you are the sun keep shining your light don't let anybody dim that you're being tested on a massive scale right now and you made it through the fire you became the fire don't reach up for that star anymore. You are the sun. It's your light. Or it's your time to shine in the light. Illumination. All good things coming towards you. Completion. Abundance. Um, rebirth. Beginning. Freeing your soul. Allowing it to soar. This is you. Nothing is changed. Yes, it was a little bump. Uh, not a little bump. It was a heartbreak for sure. There's no question. It came and it left you torn. But it did not change anything. He is carrying a bunch of negative energy around with him right now. But you freed yourself. You, it's like from here to here, like you did not attach yourself to anything that occurred in between these two cards. You know, the massive change is, could take up to 20 years, but it, you went through it so quickly. Detachment, I'm done, no. I am awake, I am aware, I'm not gonna be pulled. I mean, there's a sense that you were like that for a short period of time, but it um, it was over so quickly. All right, now we are on to his near future. Yeah, yep, you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. Karma, bitch. Sorry, but... Um, I love you so much. I do not like anybody hurting my friends. Not like this. You know, this is not right. You don't make anybody less than they are in order to make yourself feel better. Swords cut. Swords follow you around. They create that mental prison. You released yourself from it. And because you released yourself from it, it encaged him. It uh, imprisoned him. For you, it was nothing. And it kind of, it, it unstabilized him. It shook him up. His safety, his security is now uh, being questioned. You know, and men are all about that grounding energy. They're all about the 3D. That They base their their worth on material on accomplishments winning battles and fighting and look at him now the dark night of the soul regret guilt fear nightmares if you don't face your fears if you don't speak your truth and live your true authentic life it is so easily taken away from you. 
and the cycle begins again over and over and over and over until you get it right three of cups yeah I know you regret that don't you temperance wheel of fortune so um, there's two union cards here and the wheel of fortune so Although I am bitter about this, I'm projecting my energy, so I need to stop myself now. This is not my battle. This is not my life. This happened to me in the past. It's not happening to me now. So, my apologies. He, there's a sense that this union is plaguing his mind. He can't release this energy. It is that light that is still shining down from above. You've risen above, released yourself from that prison, and now you're coming in as temperance. That is integration, it's balance, it is the union of the souls. So it's like you are providing this um, balance there's a balance here as well, and there's a balance here as well. So the three cups, two people coming together to share love, you know, third energy. So it's union, a celebration of love. Um, this is the winding of the souls, patience, temperance, balance. Don't overreact to a situation. Don't lash out. Self-control, patience allow this to be processed, allow this um, cycle to complete. It is the Wheel of Fortune is significant changes in his near future. So he can release himself from this prison or he continue to fight the, the Wheel of Fortune. It's up to him karma can come back to him in a good way or karma can um, come back to him in a bad way. That's exactly what this is. It's karma coming back to him. What you put out, you get back. Oops. Okay, so next is um, your final outcome. Nice. Good for you, girl. Spiritual strength. Um, I noticed I had a little slip, a Freudian slip earlier. I called this spiritual strength. It's spiritual union. This is spiritual strength. So you are... And it's kind of interesting. Usually I see this card at the very bottom, like a foundation. So you're holding up something. You're holding up the union. Do you know what I mean? But now it is coming, in this circumstance, it's coming at the very top. So it's like, you know, you, you turned into this little, this... You turned into love, is what you did. And the sun, the star in the sky, and you continued to rise above. And now you're being represented as this Buddha. And Spirit is telling you and showing you how strong you are. Look at that. Like, I literally do not want to touch any of these cards with additional fuckery. Because this is too perfect. I shouldn't even touch this one, but I needed verification that indeed your heart was broken. But you grew strong from it. You're carrying on. Your heart got broken, you got on your horse, and you still continue to ride towards your destiny. Nothing's stopping you. And it did not crush you, ultimately. It opened you even further. Love 
compassion, gentle spirit, this is you. Understanding, kind. Let's leave the bullshit behind in the past where it belongs. All right, so now we are moving on to his final outcome. Six of Cups. Somebody from the past coming back. This is the truth. Look at how he holds you. He continues to scoop you out of the universe, the star in the sky. He continues to focus his attention on you. Union. Again, somebody coming back. He can't let go. Why? Because it has to do with love, pure love. And I'm not going to touch that one either. All right, so now we are going to move into the crystal ball. So let me just move these over a little bit. So beginning with the distant past. So you remember how this goes, distant past, uh, near, or sorry, recent past, present. Um, near future and distant future. Okay. Cornerstone card. Four cups. Sadness. Uh, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. Stagnation. Somebody's not taking that cup of love. Cornerstone card. Longing. Want. Nine of Swords. It's already lo locked into the distant past, this energy, even though it's coming up in his future. This karmic cycle keeps playing out in his life over and over again. He's already been through this before. Nightmares, guilt, mental prison, oh, sorry, two wands, um, he can free himself, walk out that door, continue on his journey towards his destiny, but he's turned his back on it, two wands. The Ace of Pentacles. A gift was being offered to him. It is still being offered to him. That door is still open, but he's turned his back on it. Um, so it's still offered. It's still there. There's still, he can still accept that key to his freedom. That uh, new beginning in the 3D. So that offer has been given. It's still there. Five pentacles, he shot himself in the foot. He fucked up. Cornerstone card. Feels left out in the cold. It's crazy how it's telling such a clear story. Karma happens so quickly. Changes your past and changes your future in an instant. Three cups longing for this union. Um, so there's this, you know, wanting the union and then it happening, feeling that overflow, you know, your cup overflowing with love. So let's see what else. Whoa, domino. I just want to make sure that you're able to see the crystal ball here. Okay, next. Oh, why do these want to come out together? Ace of Cups. So he was given an, um, not only an offer of a new beginning in the 3D, uh, but he was also given that um, cup of love. 
the universe offered him a cup of love. Um, it's right beside the three of cups, so there's that union, that coming together, um, you know, being an open vessel, receiving love. But he hasn't cleared that energy from the past yet. Judgment is that grand awakening. Um, you know, releasing your past, your identity, realize that your whole life has just been a um, movie projected on your on a screen in your mind. None of it is real. None of it matters. So it's right below this two wands, which kind of represents that expansiveness of the mind. It's like that initial wake, awakening into spirituality, enlightenment. And then, boom, we got this projected uh, movie and realizing that it's all an illusion and, and waking up from it. So, um, we got this feeling of you know, the cup of love was offered to him in in the, the past, right? And it's a feminine energy that offered it to him. So I still don't know if, you know, what the present position is just yet, but it seems to me this is you, that's him locking himself away. Um, but then judgment comes in, which is that rebirth set. Uh, epiphany, that um, thing that changes everything. King of Pentacles. So this is a 3D king. Um, he represents abundance, um, arriving at a state where uh, you don't have to worry about money anymore, being open, giving, receiving, but it's a grounded energy. And it's almost as if, you know, we got this Ace of Pentacles just above it. It's like that new beginning in the 3D world was offered and there was this sense of, you know, abundance that could come from it. But he shot himself in the foot. Ten of Wands. Um, exhaustion, taking on too many burdens, sleepless nights, um, wound, you know, you, you don't want to carry on anymore. So the, the Ten of Wands is a completion of that an ending king of wands so this is present position right so there's this stern quality again he came up in the divine divine masculine's past so it's like presently he's still carrying this energy of being empowered or making a decision um, I don't know it's such an unusual energy to just have pop up out of nowhere three of wands this is um, ships coming in harvest it is the card right after the two of wands so it's initial, initially seeing the fruits of your labor. Um, you know, feeling accomplished, being recognized for staying on your path and continuing to do so. And it's right below the Ace of Cups. So, you know, it's like this gift of um, love was offered to him and then there's this masculine energy both wands and it's like he's activated in some way like on a deep level he knows that he what sparks his passion within okay so the next card is going to represent zero point the main um, message of the entire reading king of cups wow look at all these kings these are all different aspects of your twin. Right at the heart of the matter, the center, zero point, king of cups, love, the king of love. Being open to giving and receiving love, like you. 
all seems to be about him so far. The only feminine card that I'm seeing so far is just that Three of Cups. Eight of Wands, communication, it's keep its arrows. It's like so contradictory. Um, it is your dreams coming to you. Beautiful energy. Um, dreams manifest. And it could literally mean communication by phone, by texting, you know. It's like you expressed your truth. You're standing here. Um, you know, each position really does represent both the divine masculine and feminine. It, you know, it just means you are the pinnacle of this. Um, so, you know, both are sharing this King of Cups. It's like you both are coming into this aspect, this pinnacle of being able to give love freely and express it freely without being afraid of getting your heart broken. Um, so beside it, there's this Cupid arrow, this energy. Um, coming towards you. Or it's just wanting to, to express yourself. Communicate. But again, it's all masculine energy so far. Wow, Knight of Cups, more masculine energy. It has to do with communicating, uh, expressing love. Okay, I'm going to pull an Osho card uh, because this is so confusing to me right now. It's like being an asshole kind of like triggered something in him, kind of opened up some kind of heart portal, subconsciously almost. Like he wants to express his love to you. Or this could be your energy as well, right? You currently you want to be like the King of Cups and express yourself. Go forward with this love. Okay, well I'm going to pull a card from Osho. Um, so I want to pull a, a card for the King of Wands here. WTF, and also, whoop, a bunch of cards just jumped out of my hand. Let's see what they say, and then I'll probably put them back in. Okay, so the only card that landed upright was the King of Swords. So this is someone who's closed off. Um... You know, uh, uh, emotionally detached uh, could represent a air sign. So every single king is now being presented in this reading. Control of his emotions. Next. Five of cups clinging to the past. Um, wearing this box of memories on your head and being unable to release it. Six of Cups, um, that card came up as his outcome, so there's this longing, wanting union. Um, the Magician card is manifesting your dreams into reality. Uh, King of Cups, again, centered energy, so this is healing himself, or offering healing, healing his heart chakra, Ten of Pentacles, Happy Ending. And then the Queen of Pentacles flowering. So there's a sense that, you know, he goes from this unemotional, hard, uh, closed off energy consumed with the past, um, then finds a state of peace, heals his heart, and then there's this Ten of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Pen Pentacles, which is the 3D Queen, and the Ten of Pentacles is that happily ever after. So, I mean, that just kind of gave me an idea of what's going on with the future, but that still doesn't tell me what is happening with this King of Wands here and the King of Cups. He is all over the place right now. 
emotional on fire in love. Um, wand energies and cup, fire and emotion. That's all I'm seeing here mostly. Well, then the pentacle, of course, from the past, but re uh, presently it's um, fire and water. Okay, stop. King of Wands. Yep. Um, so this is the Knight of Swords. So that it's that similar closed off energy as the King of Swords. Armor. Ready to fight. He's closed off. Self-imposed prison. Okay, so what do you mean by um, the King of Cups, please? Thunderbolt, Tower, present position, zero point, the tower came down suddenly out of the blue and destroyed that foundation from beneath your feet. Rebirth. So this energy is being felt by the both of you. But I'm getting that you are more this conscious awareness allowing that tower to fall. That's the reason for all the fire right now. So I want to pull a card for the Three of Wands as well. On the mat, Six of Pentacles. Um, so, you know, the Six of Pentacles means you're open to give and receive. Um, share your life in the 3D. But this card in the Osho deck talks about don't ever compromise your self-worth. So you're still on your spiritual path. You still have this cup. You offered this cup of love to the masculine in the past. And although it wasn't accepted, um, you still feel spiritually on the right path. And Spirit is saying, that's right, you are. Don't close yourself off. Be open. And never compromise yourself for somebody else. So that's calling to me. I'm going to read that. I was going to continue polling here, but um, that one's calling. Don't be clever. Otherwise, you will remain the same. You will not change. Half techniques on the path of love and half techniques on the path of meditation will create much confusion in you. They will not help. But to ask for help is against the ego, so you try to compromise. This compromise will be more dangerous. It will confuse you more because you made it out of confusion. It will create more confusion. So try to understand why you hanker for compromise. Sooner or later, you will be able to understand that compromise is not to help, and compromise may be a way of not going in either direction or it may be just a, re a repression of your confusion. It will assert itself. Never repress anything. Be clear-cut about your situation. And if you are confused, remember that you are confused. This will be the first clear-cut thing about you, that you are confused. You have started on the journey. You started on the journey. You are confused, but you are optimistic as fuck. All right, then I'm going to, this is calling to me as well, because it's definitely what I felt in an uh, email when I read it. One moment it was there, another moment it was gone. One moment we are here, and another moment we have gone. And for the simple moment, how much fuss we make, 
How much violence, ambition, struggle, conflict, anger, hatred, just for the small moment, just waiting for the train in a waiting room on a station, a and creating so much fuss, fighting, hurting each other, trying to possess, trying to boss, trying to dominate, all the politics, and then the train comes and you're gone forever. All right, so the tower, be the conscious observer. Don't engage yourself emotionally. Do not compromise yourself. All right, so yeah, we will pull a card for the Eight of Wands because that's another confusing card in the present position. Uh, Queen of Swords, morality, seeing through the bullshit, cutting to the truth, speaking your truth, knowing your truth cannot be um, wavered. And it has to do with the Eight of Wands. So you are being represented as being strong, cutting away the darkness. Do not compromise. There's another that strong message that I'm getting from that. All right, so, and for the Knight of Cups, awareness, yes that child, that innocence, that pure spirit, spirit be behind the veil. Even though there's pain, even though he's built up this armor around him, this falseness, um, he is really still a child beneath it all. The veil of illusion, or maya, that has been keeping you from um, perceiving reality as it is, is starting to burn away. The fire is not the heated fire of passion, but the cool flame of awareness. As it burns, the veil, the face of a very delicate and childlike Buddha becomes visible. The awareness that is growing in you now is not the result of any con conscious doing, nor do you need to struggle to make something happen. Uh, any sense you might have had that you've been grasping in the dark is dissolving now or will be dissolving soon. Let yourself settle and remember that deep inside of you are just, uh, deep inside you are just a witness, eternally silent, aware and unchanged. A channel is now opening from the circumference of activity to the center of witnessing. It will help you become detached. A new awareness will lift the veil from your eyes. So that comes with the king or the knight of cups. So there's this sense of still keeping your heart open, still wearing your heart on your sleeve. Continuing on. All right, so for um, near future position, page of cups. Give it time. It goes around, comes around. An offer of love, message of love, communication. Eight of Swords. So um, this is that mental prison, right? He got the Nine of Swords in the, um, towards the back. And I sensed that he was still holding on to that energy, even though you are still an open vessel and being optimistic, not compromising. And then we have the Eight of Swords, which is um, that mental prison once again that comes up in his near future. Whoa. Cause and effect. Karma. So, yeah. Um, let's see what happens. Communication, another page, speaking your truth. And it comes right after that zero point card, the tower, thunderbolts. 
divine masculine twin flame rises like a phoenix rising from the tower oh my god divine feminine twin flame right beside her masculine Final outcome, Queen of Swords, unwavering, still standing in her truth. Cornerstone card. Magician, manifesting your dreams into reality, creating your reality. So it's a number one it's a beginning so there's a sense that he breaks free of that prison of the mind um, you are holding the sword of truth and from it this new beginning one and creating your reality high priestess you are in your your spiritual 5d grounded energy um, such peaceful quiet energy i really honestly don't need to much to, to say much more about it. it it's it's so peaceful <laughs> i can oh, oh my god i'm at a loss for words honestly it's like truth unwavering tower so and tower comes again. Cycles. It's right below the divine masculine twin flame. Last card. Nine of Pentacles. So that's that arrival, and it's right below the uh, divine feminine. So you are still standing here, and you're sarong. You're like all. Yeah, whatevs. I'm free. I'm grounded. I'm heart centered. I'm unwavering. I'm carrying my badass sword and shit. And uh, yeah, you can't knock me off course. So this is manifestation. Manifestation. It is ripeness. It is harvest. It is finally being at that place where you can just enjoy the finer things in life. Walk along the beach if you want to. It's so it's harvest, it's completion of um, all the hard work that you've done, and it comes after the tower that was created by the divine masculine. It's all shaking shit up, isn't he? But let's hope this cycle doesn't repeat again, which I don't think it will. Um, there's a brand new life being represented here. Rebirth and uh, a death of the old ego. So it's going to keep coming. This tower is going to follow him around until he fucking takes care of shit. All right. So I'm going to now um, pull two cards from called Baron Reed. Feminine first. Ride the wave, yes. Coming to life. All right, so fourteen. That's that's what I'm feeling from you. You're just like chilling, doing some surfing, walking along the beach. You know, you are unwavering. 
And because of that, he cannot escape that connection. All right. Right now, success is easy and effortless. Yes, it is. You can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. The tide has turned and you can put your surfing skills to the test. Everything that you know, all of your talents, coupled with your hopes and dreams, will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you're definitely on the right path. Okay, and 29. Masculine. Coming to life. Coming to life. Something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities or like hard armor and created new ones or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit you know things take time and spirits timetable is rarely in sync with your own this card indicates that a long-held dream is being beginning to show signs of life you must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires spirit knows the best form for this manifestation of this dream in your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. No, now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the, the divine. All you have to do is show up. 